Hello, I'm here to tell you about Federations, the next expansion coming to Stellaris. Federations has a strong focus on diplomacy and will feature a reworked Federation system, as well as the galactic community, which is sort of a United Nations in space, and much more. But let's start talking about the new Federation system. First of all, Federations will now exist in different types, such as a trade league or a research cooperative. Each Federation type will have its own passive effect and can gain access to new perks as they level up. But you will need to maintain your Federation's cohesion in order to gain experience. Each level will unlock three perks, which can give bonuses to all the members or sometimes to only the President. Federations now also have laws, which allows you to customize things like how the President is chosen, the length of their term, or how large your contribution to the Federation fleet will be. The galactic community is a major feature in Federations. Empires come together to debate galactic law, scheming and manipulating to try to come out on top. It's a diplomatic battlefield where the resolutions passed can change the face of the galaxy. Resolutions are broken into categories that appeal to vastly different empire types. Egalitarian empires may seek to pass the greater good resolutions, which enforce higher living standards for all of the citizens in the galactic community. More trade-oriented empires may instead back galactic commerce resolutions, maximizing profits regardless of the cost. The mutual defense resolutions can escalate, forcing members to maintain a large standing fleet lest they be in breach of galactic law. As you may expect, that should be popular with militarists, but less so with pacifists. Use your diplomatic clout to aid your allies or cripple your rivals and decide once and for all whether or not the pen is mightier than the sword. Origins is a new feature which allows you to pick some background flavor for the founding stories of your empire. Ever since the introduction of civics, we've long wanted to expand upon the concept of background stories, and that is why we're so happy to add Origins to the game. There are currently 18 origins in the game, some of which you might recognize from their previous incarnations as civics. But there are also a significant number of new starting conditions, which you can use to enrich the story of your empire. You may choose to play an empire with the Void Dwellers origin, in which your species has a significant preference for off-world habitats rather than planets. You start out in a trinary star system with three habitats and the technology to build more. Right from day one, your empire's strong aversion to planets will change the way you prioritize its resources and the manner in which it will expand out into the galaxy. In common ground, your empire's concerns begin with your immediate neighbors. This is one of two origins in which you start as leader of an existing federation, the other being hegemony. Common ground can grant you some safety in numbers, with allies of equal standing close at hand, there to help deal with whatever formative events the galaxy may throw at you. Few events could be as formative for your empire as those in the Doomsday origin. Your civilization has less than 50 years to escape a planet on the verge of catastrophe. The pressure is on to gather resources from the disintegrating crust of your own homeworld, and then seek out and settle a new galactic capital before all is lost. Whether your empire's origin is one of high drama, ordered prosperity, or something in between, we hope you'll enjoy adding these additional flavors to your stories. I want to tell you about the Juggernaut, a new ship coming in Federations. The Juggernaut is as much as a colossal warship as it is a star base. It has a shipyard and is able to repair your fleets and build new ships to reinforce your losses. The Juggernaut is going to be an excellent forward base of operations during offensive wars. We're also adding a new mega structure, the Mega Shipyard. As the name suggests, the Mega Shipyard allows you to build a lot of ships really fast. With the Juggernaut, and the mega shipyard, warmongers will get new fun toys to play with. In the upcoming 2.6 Vern update, we have also taken the time to improve upon and polish the diplomatic features of the game. We have updated the user interfaces and added a few mechanics, such as improve and harm relations. 
Envoys is a new feature that is very similar to Diplomats in EU4. You can assign envoys to improve the cohesion of your federation or to boost your standing within the galactic community. Envoys are also necessary to perform the new actions to improve or harm relations. We have also made improvements to the game's performance and AI with a focus on economic AI and giving the endgame crisis more unique behaviors. We hope you have enjoyed this preview of some of the features coming in Federations and the upcoming 2.6 Vern update. We are really looking forward to seeing you join our galactic community on March 17th.